What up, Donkeys? Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com with another roulette system review. This one is called Fibonacci Ride or Die, or just Fibonacci or Die. I was specifically asked to review this system by Big Beef during one of my live streams. So here we are. This system is a combination of both the Fibonacci dozens and ride or die. So there is a negative progression element and there is a positive progression element. The negative progression involves increasing your bets using the Fibonacci sequence. And the ride or die sequence is a positive progression where you parlay your bets until you make a final YOLO bet of $70 straight up. The original ride or die system had a $5 starting bet, but this one is doubled to a $10 starting bet. The system author suggests using a $400 buy-in. So your starting bet and most of your bets is just gonna be a single bet on one of the dozens. How much you bet is gonna depend on where you are in the negative or positive progression. But if you reach the final tier of your positive progression, you're gonna make a single bet of $70 on a number straight up. So we're gonna start off with a $10 bet on the no first dozen. Bet. And by the way, we have a starting balance of $2.41 million. One that's a hit, we win $20. We go to step two of ride or die, $30 on a dozen. We're gonna be playing this on a double zero wheel. No more bets. Sixteen, that's a whack, we lose the 30. And we reset to step one. Since you're just betting on a dozen, you have 32.4% coverage on a single zero wheel. No more and 31.6% coverage on a double zero wheel. 21, that's a whack, minus 10. We go to step two of Fibonacci, which is still $10. No more bets. This is a ladder system, meaning you bet differently when you lose and when you win. 16, we lose 10. And we go to step three of Fibonacci, $20. No more bets. 12, that's a hit. We win 40 and recover. And we go to step one. No more bets. 23, that's a whack, minus 10. Go to step two of Fibonacci. CEG's original rating of the system was a C. I'll let you know what no I gave bets. it later on. 6, that's a hit. We win 20. And that's no a recovery, so we go to step one again. 9, that's a hit. We win 20, and we go to step two of ride or die. No more bets. 0, that's a whack. We lose 30. Back to step one. No $10. more bets. Five, that's a hit. Win 20 and we go to step two of ride or die. You can have a $1 starting bet. You would just divide all the bets and the buy-in by no 10. Or you can have a $5 starting bet and you would just have all the other bets and buy-in. 13, that's a whack, minus 30. And we go back to step one. No more bets. 11, that's a hit. We win 20 and we press that bet to $30. No more bets. 1, that's a hit. We win 60 and we press that again and make a $90 bet. No more bets. 11, that's a hit, we win 180, and now we make the ride or die bet $70 on a number straight up. If you enjoy learning about roulette systems, go to my website, jackcase.com. There we have a catalog of over 350 roulette systems. You can sort them by my rating, you can sort them by the buy-in amount, the bet size, and you can see spin-by-spin -spin results as spun by the CEG Dealer School. I also have a tool called the Roulette Bet Analyzer. There you can enter your roulette bets. It'll show you how much you're gonna win on every different result, how much your expected loss is per spin, how much you will be earning in comps per no spin, and how much coverage of the wheel you have. This is the fourth tier of Ride or Die, the last tier. Just missed. 
So we lose 70 and we go back to step one. No more bets. Twenty-five. That's a ten dollar loss. We are up one eighty, and we go to step two of no Fibonacci. Still ten dollars. Another ten dollar loss, and now we bet twenty. No more bets. Thirty-six. A whack. We lose twenty. We go to the next step of Fibonacci, which is thirty dollars. No more bets. Four, that's a hit, so we win 60 and recover. You're currently up $210. We go back to step one. So question for the comments, do you like ladder systems? Do you like negative no progression bet. systems? Do you like positive progression systems? Or do you like Martingale or just flat betting? Six, that's a win, we win 20, and we go to step two of ride or die betting $30 on a dozen. No more bets. Twenty-eight whack, we lose thirty. We are currently up two hundred. No more bets. Twenty-five, that's a ten dollar whack. Go to step two of Fibonacci, no still bets. ten dollars. Seventeen, another ten dollar whack, we bet twenty. No more bets. 18, another whack, and we go to 30. No more bets. If you enjoy discussing gambling systems, you can join my Discord. 30, we lose 30, and we're up 130. Now we're going to bet 50. This is step 5 of Fibonacci. No more bets. 9, that's a $100 win, and we recover, and we go back to step 1. If you want me to review one of your roulette systems, no you can bets. submit it using this Google form. And if you want me to fast track your review, you can join my Patreon. 22, $10 loss, and we go to step 2 of Fibonacci. No more bets. 29, another $10 loss. Go to step three, which is $20. No more bets. 10, that's a hit. We recover, win 40, and reset to step one. Currently up 250. No more bets. 27, a $10 whack. Go to step two of Fibonacci, still $10. No more bets. 3, we win, we win 20, and reset to step 1. There's really not an alternate betting pattern for the system. You can just bet any other dozen, or you can bet on columns. And of course, for the straight up bet, you can bet on any number you want to bet on, including the zeros if you want. No more bets. 24, a $10 whack. Bet 10 again. No more bets. 35, another $10 whack, and bet 20. No more bets. 18, $20 loss, we bet 30. No more bets. 33, lose 30, and we go to step five, which is a $50 bet. If you join my Patreon, you'll also gain access to some of the no gambling bets. spreadsheets I've created. And you can also have access to an exclusive private chat room in my Discord. That's a win, win 100. We're currently up 290, no more bets. and we reset to step one. 
17, a whack, minus 10, we go to set two of Fibonacci. No more bets. One that's a hit, a recovery, and we go to step one. So we're almost at the 40 spin no mark, bets. so we will make whatever next progression our last progression, whether it's negative or positive. So three, that's a hit, and we're going to go into ride or die territory. Press that bet to 30. No more bets. Nine, that's a hit. And now we go to step three of ride or die, $90 bet. No more bets. Double zero, that's a whack. And we're gonna call that the end of our session. So that was about 40 spins. We are up $290, but let's check out this system in the Jack Ace simulator. What up donkeys, Jack Ace here. We are testing Fibonacci or die in the Jack Ace simulator. Let's run through a couple of trials right now. I'm gonna put in 300 trials and let's look at double zero. So we are actually a little bit more successful than we would expect to be, but we're still only successful overall 6.0% of the time. So here's the success in 265 spins. Here's what the graph looks like. So here you can see we're inching up towards our goal. And then right near the end, we actually hit our ride or die goal. And that blasted us into the stratosphere. So you can see we won 20, then 60, 180, and then 2450. So here's an example where we do hit our ride or die goal. But most of the other times where we are successful, we are going to be successful because of Fibonacci. So here's another success. Let's take a look at it. So yeah, as you can see, this is not the ride or die goal. This is just a Fibonacci bet winning. So we bet 210 and then we bet 340 and the $340 bet won two to one. And that is the reason why we crossed our threshold. So for most of these successes, and we were successful 6% of the time, most of these are going to be due to Fibonacci. And for that reason, I think Fibonacci and ride or die, the two systems together, I think they conflict with each other. So that is why this is almost half as successful as the actual ride or die system. So ride or die was only successful 8.2% of the time. Here, we're only successful 6% of the time. And let's do it for 5,000 trials. Let's see. So here, we are successful 7.1% of the time. We're actually doing a little bit better than we would normally be doing. But 7.1% success rate is much lower than 10.6. And let's try this for double zero. So on double zero, we are successful 5.2% of the time. And that is actually better than what we would expect because this actual loss is only 4.7% instead of 5.26. But 5.2% success is much lower than 8.2, which is what the success rate was with ride or die. And let's try this for triple zero. So in triple zero, we are successful 3.6% of the time, and that is about half as successful as ride or die, where we were successful 6.8% of the time. So as you can see, Fibonacci plus ride or die is not as good as ride or die. So because of that, I'm giving Fibonacci or die a low score. So that is how Fibonacci or die performed in my Jack Ace simulator. As you can see, there was a lot of erectile dysfunction going on, a lot of nose dives because of the Fibonacci sequence. I think the problem is that we have such a large goal because of the ride or die requirement. We're trying to hit a winning threshold of over 2000. That's a big ask for the Fibonacci sequence itself. And I think that hurts this combination of the two systems. We can look at the stats for achieving our goals for ride or die by itself compared to Fibonacci or die. And you can see that we are more successful when we just try to win using ride or die. 
And because of that, I'm giving this system a D or a C, somewhere in between. I really do think the Fibonacci part of this system really brings it down. Even though we were up 290 in our live trial, that was mostly because of the Fibonacci. I think Fibonacci is fine if you do it by itself and you have a much smaller goal. You can't try to 4x your money using Fibonacci. So overall, you should do Fibonacci by itself or ride or die by itself. Don't mix the two. It doesn't perform as well as either one by itself. On average, ride or die was more successful by a factor of about 25% compared to Fibonacci or die. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly. Never play triple zero roulette. And peace out, donkeys. Mm -hmm.